All good. So with that in mind, let's start off with the first series. And I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all, specifically the haters, y'all are going to love this. The Boston Celtics <laughs> went into Philadelphia, Pennsylvania against the Philadelphia 76ers and beat them, beat them 104, 102 to 114 to highlight some uh, key players. Joel Embiid, 30 points. Good job on that destroyed knee. You were doing a lot of good things, like when it came to like your scoring aggression. You got to the line a lot. Hey, Chibi, you were rebounding in key moments. So shout out to you, Joel Embiid. Uh, DeAnthony Melton. Like although like statistically it may not look pretty, he did a phenomenal job defensively in the second half. His three point sh- his three point shooting was very key in the fourth quarter. Shout out to you, DeAnthony Melton. Did they win? Also- did they win? <laughs> hey, wait. Like also, what a, what a, hey, what a, hey, wait. Hold on. Shout out to what a, what Georges a Niang. Man. Shout out to Georges Niang. In the fourth quarter, when they needed like on-ball reps, third and fourth quarter, excuse me, when they needed on-ball oh, reps man. and they needed like on-ball somebody reps, to do dude. something, Niang was attacking the rim. He was making his threes. He did a really good job keeping Philadelphia afloat. Shout out to you. But there's before we get into the stinker, we got to get into another guy with a stinker, Tyrese Maxey. Four or 16 from the field. Like, he did not hey, do when that. when you get to Harden, I want you to give me the solo. That's okay. And then, and then, you know, funny enough, funny enough, let's talk about the forgettable-ass players. P.J. Tucker, Tobias Harris, 16 points combined. Damn. Didn't really do much. Yeah. Didn't really do much. Like, like when I saw P.J. Tucker and Tobias Harris, like, they're, this is what I thought. <sighs> well, Tobi- Tobias Harris is turning into P.J. Tucker in that offense. So. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're, they're, and, making him, they're making him play Thompson in the corner. Ever, bro, I swear, every time I see him going to the post, he scores, and he doesn't get no touches. Yeah. yeah I, I, it's, it's actually, no it's actually touches, annoying though. because it's like, for everybody that's watched Tobias Harris, you know he has a solid bag, bro. It actually is. Yeah, he's not. He's, 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 Hey, athletic Carmelo Anthony. Come on now. That's somebody that if he teamed up with LeBron, they'd immediately make him a spot up shooter. I'm not yep. even gonna lie. <laughs> Quarter hey, specialist, bro. Hey, Mustard, let me ask you this. Do you want me to read the stat line and then give you the solo? Oh no, I got the stat line. I okay, okay, you. go ahead. Mustard, all you, all you go. Y'all you know, y'all you know the oh, back. Hey, pre- pre- hey prepare to go sound ahead. Board. Talk about him. Talk about so him. James Harden in game one. James Harden's back. James Harden's back. James Harden's back. Nigga, please. All right, shout out to Ash real quick because that nigga was on his dick. The thickest, hey. the thickest game one. In, hey, don't play it yet because I got it. No. But I, I know when to start it. James Harden, the, the fakest game one in history. The guy got to the rim more times in that game than he did throughout the whole entire net series. That's how you knew it was fake. <laughs> on top of that, then you go to game two. What does he do? 12 points. 10 rebounds. 2 of 14 from the field. 0 of 6 from 3. 0 of 6. Mind you, all his buckets mainly came from the free throw line. Free throw merchant as always. A minus 21. Double, double, though. Minus 21. Double. Game 3. You think he's trying to follow that up with a great game? Or at least just be decent? What does he do? Another stinker. 16 points. 11 assists to 5 turnovers. Three of 14 from the field. Two of seven from three. This instrumental. He said it was just one game after game one to his teammates. He wasn't lying. It was just one game. He knew it was fake. We should have seen that shit coming. James Harden. Playoff James Harden. He's back. He's back. That's all I got to say, bro. That's all I got to say. Hey. Okay, monster. Okay, but uh, go bells. What do you do? You have any takeaways about that game? That music um, is so fucking. <laughs> 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 the the instrumental is tough. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, that bro. is. That's a tough beat, though. Uh, but um, James Harden, dog. Um, monster was right. <clears throat> I heard two double. Hey, he's double, back. Double. He's double, back. Double. <laughs> you nasty. You nasty, back, dog. Double, double, um, I'm back. Yo, we should get the uh Cam doing. I'm back. We should get the Cam doing. I'm back. Shit in there, dog. <laughs> Bro, by the way, I know that is one of the craziestly aged shits I've ever seen. He said I'm back, and then he was out the league. <laughs> yo, yo. That was insane. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, you're back to being out the league, buddy. That's what you're back nah, to being. That was being. sad, though. But, nah, let me tell y'all. <laughs> we are never, ever putting J. Cole instrumentals in here, dog. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. But, uh, but um, what's it called? Nah. I, I, uh, the first thing I want to do. 
I want to call out the Harden Dick Riders. I want to call out Mr. Ass on Twitter. Um, all I hear from Bro, him, Ash has been the, the, the first Harden, game, man. he was like, "Y'all with Harden, wash." And then he comes out and turns into this. He turned into this. Well, and, then, and then you know what he's gonna do, Goobos? You know what he's gonna do? He's gonna say, "Oh, but I expected hard to be like, shut the fuck up, bro. Shut the fuck up." This man c- oh, came man, out playing like 2023 Chris Paul. <laughs> this is how he's playing. This is disgusting shit right here, bro. This shit not like, like I didn't expect this from James. I'm not gonna lie to you. I did not expect him to be this bad the next two games. I thought he was gonna show up. He's disappointed me, man. But but um, go bills, but go bills, the double doubles, but the, the double double, the tennis. Yeah, come on, go bills. But but not just that, dude. Like, not only is he like terrible on offense, he still can't guard me, right? Can't <laughs> guard Steve. Yeah, I, I mean, like, this is this is tough stuff to see. He's a two way liability, and he's, he's a no way player. Team. No way player, bro. And um, if I'm being honest, I. I don't think the Sixers they're gonna they're not going anywhere with this team, dog. They're not going anywhere. blow it up. It's over. Hey, yes, yo, it's over. Yo, hey, bro, Joel and Bead, Joel and Bead, bro. Slam that trade request and say you want to come to the Knicks, bro. Yo, yo, yo he's I, not oh doing it. No one's going to the Knicks. I will say, happily accept you in New York. I, I, I do not want him here, Go Bell. Stop it. I, I, I will literally me. drive you to the arena. My, I mean, no, not Go Bells. I mean, hey, sure, you can have him, man. So yo, when yo, he gets yo, injured yo. in the playoffs and you, you got I'm, never bro, make it back to again, bro, it's New York, <laughs> bro. We got we got the New York PEDs, bro. You think you think we not we gonna give him that Derek? The Jeter. PEDs is crazy. We, uh, we nah, got the Derek Jeter. Yeah, 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 but real quick, quick Aaron Judge shit, bro. We gonna give him quick. Real quick, I want to say this about Joel, and this is gonna sound crazy. Joel Embiid is hurting the Sixers on offense. Now I know this sounds bogus. He's hurting the Sixers on offense. Yes, he is. Now, now I, I I was talking about this in facts and stats. Hey, go ahead, sell yourself. You gotta it, it's not take. Okay, okay. I'm a, I'm gonna repeat it too, just so we can. <laughs> okay, guys. Did not just not click. Okay, Joel Embiid is ruining the Sixers' offense, dog. And, and like, this is no disrespect to Joel. I think he's a great player, but the way that the Sixers played in Game One. It's completely different from the way they've played in the last two games. They've been a lot slower. When Joel Embiid is in the game, they play a lot slower. James Harden's a lot less aggressive. Now, when it's the other way around. Nigga, that is a Harden problem. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Could I also say? Oh, hold, hold, up basically... hold, hold up real hold, hold quick. Hold up. Hold, hold up. Let me finish my point. Right, right? I'll, I'll let him finish. Let me finish my point, right? And I'm not and I'm not blaming jo- uh, Joel Embiid for all Harden's problems. Harden's fucking trash. Like, let's just get that clear. <laughs> that being said, that being said, bro, like, and beat is slowing their offense down. I think it's hurting multiple players. Like Tyrese Maxey, we all know he's a transition demon. That's the only thing that he can do in offense. Let's just be honest. He's a run and layup player. Um, and then James Harden also <laughs> thrives in a bit of pace. Like, like they play faster without him. Now, Joel and B comes back, he's demanding post touches, he's clogging up the lane with his seals, in which I love the fact that he's aggressive. But I think sometimes Joel Embiid posts up way too much. You know what I mean? And I do think it's hurting the Sixers' offense and their players. It's not allowing them to play faster. And it's also not allowing them to spray it around. But that's just how I see it. I'm not blaming all this on Embiid at all. Go Bells. I, like, what, although you're saying that you're not blaming Joel, you're basically implying that he's a black hole. Oh, my, I, I didn't mean to do that. I, I was exiting the door. Like you're implying that he's a black hole on offense. I don't, mind you, mind you, this is one of the best offenses in the league. It is that that's during the regular season. I'm talking about in the playoffs. What have they done in the playoffs? They've been smelly on offense, have they not? They swept. They swept one team. <laughs> okay, and then no. wow. they've they they won. They're one. And, they're one and one in the series with him. Actually, no, they're not. They're on two with. They're on two with Joel yeah. Embiid. Yeah. No, no, the first, first to game, be fair, to be fair, he didn't have a bad game. But also, like, Philly's he defense. Have, he did much. have a bad game. But the also, game that Embiid played though was just like a, a get your feet under you type yeah. of game. But, but, but also, but also another thing too. Uh, like, are we not their bench lie? had more threes than the whole Sixers team? In that but game. are we not gonna That's lie and act like Joel? Like Joel's bit is very like noticeably hurt. 
like to yeah. the point where like he's not as mobile. So I feel like that's also what's like Dude, rooting as well. Because if he was healthy, I'm not bro, gonna lie. I don't know about thing. that, bro. Because I still see that nigga. Bro, his knee is fucked, bro. His knee is fucked. No, but I don't think but this he looks throughout the entire season. No, but I don't think he looks as bad for someone who has a knee injury that might need surgery. Don't forget, the way Embiid is just that. Just like Embiid, 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 Embiid is just that good. The guy yeah, averaged 30 on the Capella with the torn meniscus. I'm He's just that good. I'm talking about how he moves. That's what I'm saying, dog. That's a fact. I'm saying, but y'all could see. No, but he's but that's moving what's... out there. Like he's not defensively, he was amazing in game. He's not. He's not, he's not just sitting. No, back that's because Boston is. Uh, no, no, because this is the other thing too. This is where it comes down to this. Boston is actually challenging Embiid at the rim, but Embiid's like proving why. Like it's per, like you really shouldn't be doing that because, like he's well, getting blocked. Jason Tatum can't make. Can't no, no, shut up, shut up. Hey, wait, no, no, no. Yo, 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 real quick. Did you Jason hear that? Tatum, Jason, wait, no, no, no. Let's actually talk about that guy. Tatum, Jason Tatum lifts weights right before games. Do you know how retarded that is? Yeah, oh no, that's, my that's, kind of that's pretty stupid. Yeah, it's pretty stupid. It's pretty stupid. But I mean, shit. Well, then again, no. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Hey, wait, hold up. Who else? Wait, wait, okay, wait. Actually, before we go into the Celtics side, I just want to propose one question. I was going to ask. No, nah, ask Steve O, dog. We ain't even, Steve O ain't even say shit. Ask Steve O. Oh, go ahead. Oh, oh, about like his takeaways? Yeah, what's your takeaways on this? Oh, yeah, really James, hard performance. Yeah, Houston. No, James, uh, Harden, James Harden was on mid. Like he was, he's he needs to step up. And they're not going to win a series if he's going to play like that. Game one, you know, he did what he needed to do to get still a game, but um, he has to play better. He has to make shots. Um, and I do think a part of it is due to Embiid coming back. Their offense is now trying to you know reset. But um, I don't have no problem with Embiid asking for those touches because he is the MVP and it's shown to work. Um, I think the first game and part of this game, too, he's still trying to get his reps in. Um, but um, really, a part of it does come down to their defense, too. Their defense hasn't looked that great to me on their on the Sixers end. But uh, the main the main the main culprit right now is James Harden. He needs to like he needs to get his act together. He's yeah. playing horrible, horrible. So, like. so Steve, you still want him in Houston? I, I've already said if people look, he can come to Houston. I prefer not on a max. But you know, oh nigga, buddy, he's getting the max. Yeah, no, that's my only issue. See, that's my issue. That's my only issue. Like, I just don't hard to go drop a tour day and be like, I want thirty five million. I don't think I don't. And honestly, <laughs> I think a lot of this is just leverage. I think it's just leverage for him to yeah, get I paid. Just... So. Wait, I don't could know. I... Wait, could I also mention another thing too? Did y'all see all the fucking layups that Harden was afraid to do? Like, yeah, he had a like. There was this one play that like Lonzo really... Ball, man. No, shut up, shut up. There was this play that really struck out to me. So Harden went to the rim. Jason Tatum, I understand. Tatum is a good rim protector. He, like, for his, like, position. He's very good in that regard. And he would have challenged Harden. But at the same time, the fact that James Harden didn't attempt at the rim and he looked away and he passed it out. And thankfully, in his regard, DeAnthony Melton hit the three when they did, like, um like corner to wing pass uh, give and goes. Thankfully, DeAnthony Melton hit the three. But the fact that Harden looked away from the rim is very concerning. Like he is not, he does not want to go to the basket at all. And it's like, it's crazy because like uh, it's the KD issue. For Harden, <laughs> Harden's mid range this year, I think, has actually been really amazing. Whenever he goes to it, um, and I I kind of want him to like step into those shots a little bit more. Um, but the fact of the matter is, even if he does that, he just does not have um that burst anymore off the dribble, off that first step. Mm-hmm. And that's why I say like a first step is very valuable as a ball handler and a scorer in this league. Um, if you don't have it, it's going to be really tough to get a lot of buck- buckets efficiently and as easy as you need to. Um, uh, which is one of the reasons. Rick Ross. For, Rick Ross, though. It's one reason why Rick. I'm a little scared for Cade. I'm not going to lie. Cade, Cade, uh, Cade, is, different. Cade, 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 Cade is different. Cade bumming scam? I mean, oh, Cade, Cade is boy. still that guy. Cade is still Bro, that why guy. y'all hating on Cade? Oh, no, no, Cade hate is just lame. It really crazy. is, bro. Like the man don't even got one healthy dog, season. Dog. I ain't even. I'm not even that much. Nah, shut your ass dog. up, nigga. But, you know what you tried to but do. But because there. we he went to the Detroit we Pistons, we not fucking with him, dog. Okay, okay. okay. But yeah, all the five Pistons fans got mad at you. Yes. Like, Nonetheless, Harden, Harden. Um, and I'm not gonna lie. I've already gone to the vault. Um, I've been studying film on this series. I've been looking. That game one is looking faker and faker by the day. Oh, of course, um, bro. Tell y'all niggas, and I'm gonna tell y'all niggas. Once these niggas lose to the Sixers. Best believe it's gonna be on, the algorithm is going to go why, crazy. Why do y'all say it's fake? Like, why, do y'all, why do y'all say it's fake? Because all the yeah. shots that you don't you think used. that's counterfeit? Steve O, Steve O, Steve O. Steve O, this work. man made more shots at the rim in that game than he did throughout the entire Nets series. 
But the thing that's is, fake, though, buddy. The, no, it's not because I saw the layups that he missed in the net series. Those were easy bunny layups. No, the, that's what he's, what he's been missing he all year. Four games. Four games. No, there was okay. The last game four. Game. game four. He was like three for. Oh, Steve, oh, Steve, you're well, choosing. And, and then, hold on, and then okay. So you have in the frame, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, that nigga talking from the side like this. <laughs> like, hey, 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 hey. You have a 16 channel <laughs> size of him Almost missing sure. layups. Like you but you're going to harp uh, on the one game where he I'm made I'm saying. It. No, I'm not. Checking out this episode of Off the Grid. If you want some more clips and full episodes, click on your left. And if you want this specific episode, click on your right. Make sure you also like, share, and subscribe. Have a blessed day.